Welcome to the Ohio Ram Show. I'm Julie Lyons I'm from Littleton, Colorado, and I just finished racing in the Hoodoo 500, of which I did a the 300 route on a two-person 50-plus relay team representing Love, Sweat, and Gears. So the race uh, started in St. George, Utah, and it did the 500 and the 300 shared the first portion of, I think we shared the first 100 miles of the route, and then the 500 went off and did their own little loop, and then we kind of joined back together for the back half of the course. And it was an extremely hilly, there is a ton of climbing in this course. Not to mention, we, we did get really lucky because the um, we had an overcast day. The day before the race, the temperature was 110 degrees up there. And it was still hot, but we had a little bit of a cloud cover, which made it a little bit nicer, at least for the first maybe 50, 60 miles. But the race starts with a neutral start from the host hotel on bike path. Everybody rides together. And, and, and I have to say the race director was really sensitive to the COVID restrictions, and we had everybody, everyone sort of started in stages. So like the 500 mile solo people started at five in the morning, the 300 mile solo people started at seven in the morning, and then all of the relays started together at nine in the morning. And then the start was a neutral rollout. Everyone was wearing masks. Everyone kept a safe distance for the first nine miles. And then the race actually started. The first hill right after that nine miles is a 13% climb. So uh, it, was, there, it was no joke <laughs> uh, to start out like that. And the hills just kept coming and coming and coming. The sun then came out and we had pretty, pretty decent temperatures and also a lot of wind. Utah is known for its wind. So you're going to get a lot of headwind no matter what you do. Uh, some rain, believe it or not. We actually had some rain at some of the higher elevations. The longest climb starts, goes up what they call Blowhard Mountain, and it it climbs from 6,000 up to 10,000 feet. Uh, we were lucky enough to get it sort of in the evening, almost nighttime, really. The descent was in the nighttime. The last 50 miles of the race is all downhill, so that is like a screaming fun time. Um, our team, about halfway through, we, we didn't really go into it. I was riding with... Uh, Candace Chiapuzio, who used to be a race director of Raw, and so we were the two-woman team, and we weren't really going into it with a lot of expectations, but about halfway through the race, I realized that we could, we had a chance at the record, and so I told her that, and we kind of thought, well, let's give it our all, so that last 50 miles of descent, we basically, we just flew, <laughs> <laughs> down that. And by that time, of course, you're catching up with the solo riders. <laughs> so they uh, were a little surprised to see people going whizzing past them at 40 plus miles an hour. <laughs> an hour. But we made it and we broke the record by an hour and a half. And it was, I mean, I highly recommend the race if you want to have a challenge, a lot of good climbing, a lot of uh, weather challenge, really fun people. And it was really well put together. It was really it was really a fun race. And, and especially in this time when we've had so many limitations, cancellations, and even the field for this race was um, a little bit smaller than usual because none of the inter international racers could attend, you know, no one can really fly in. So it, in some ways it was great because it was sort of a community feel. It was people, you, you know, from other races and we all supported each other and just had a great time out there. This is Julie Lyons reporting for the Ohio Ram Show. This is Gregory Zuber thanking you for watching and sharing. Music.